Hi guys, Angie Bell from My Fairy Treasures. Okay, I'm coming around. Hi guys. Just a second. Always gotta fix my mirror that's in front of me. And also my chair. Okay. Let me get myself in here. Okay, I'm wearing a top. It almost looked like I wasn't wearing nothing. Look, I'm naked. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, we are doing a Dollar Tree haul. I meant to already be on my third Dollar Tree haul. I wanted to do two last week and one this week, but it didn't happen. So anyway, you guys, um, we're doing a Dollar Tree haul. It's huge, like normal. I've gone nuts, like normal. Um, it's super girly, super, it's a really super fun girly haul. People are gonna be like, girl, all your, all your hauls are big and girly. Anyway. Okay, let's just start with what I got in front of me. I picked up three more of these because I gave two away to a special friend. You'll be getting it soon. It'll be a big surprise. I didn't tell her I was sending it to her, but it's these gnomes because she said she didn't get these gnomes. So I sent some gnomes to her. So I picked up two pinks and a purple. I might have picked up two purples and two pinks. I don't know. But you guys, these are so cute, aren't they? Oh my God, they're so adorable. Finally, my store, one of my stores got a lot of them in, but finally they're like all out because I was going to pick up another pink one, I think. I think because I picked up two, I think I was going to pick up another purple one, purple and pink one, but they were all out now. So finally, now they're all done. So I got that one. They're so cute, you guys. They say, welcome. This one says, Ho okay, this one says, Hoppy Easter. Are they so cute, you guys? And I showed this in my last video, but um, I think I only picked up two and then some, one of my friends had asked for it. So I sent her, um, I think a pink and a purple. So then I picked up two more. And hopefully I picked up another purple. I think I didn't, I think I went back and they were out so I couldn't get another purple. Yeah, I think that is the story. I think I'm not lying. Okay. Um, I think I picked up maybe one too many of these. We'll find out. I'm, I'm decorating my house for Easter right now, so if I did, I'll be exchanging some stuff because I go nuts. Like, I, I love things, and then I'll buy them twice, and I'm like, girl, why are you buying things twice? Like, you already bought that, but I don't know it until I go through my Dollar Tree stuff that I pile up on the couch, and then I keep buying the same stuff over and over again. It's like, so this, I already bought two of these, so I don't know if these two are going back. I, did I show you guys? No, I didn't show you guys this. I ended up buying four of them all together. So we'll see if I use these two. I probably will. Look how cool and farmhousey it is. Yeah, I'll probably end up keeping this now that I'm looking at it. It's so cool. It says happy, just happy Easter. Look how farmhouse it is. Now my house is not farmhouse, but it's very ethnic and very rustic. So any farmhouse stuff fits in it. So for my house, um, I bought the farmhouse type of stuff. And, um, for my beauty bathroom and for my craft room, they're both in pink. So I did, um, I'm decorating in there with all the, uh, you know, the pinky Eastery colors, like the pinks and Robin's egg blues and all that. Okay, let me put those that down there. And then I bought probably way too many of these, but we'll see. No, I, I didn't buy too many. I keep thinking I bought too many, but I didn't because I do want to decorate my bathroom and I want to decorate my craft room. So I think I'll be fine. I bought four of these, these two, and then I bought two more. So I bought four of these so I can put, isn't it cute? I love these. You're getting a, such a bang for your buck when you buy these. Look how pretty they are. Look at the little bunny at the bottom. You guys, this stuff is like Hobby Lobby. This is not Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is doing the most. And the top says, every bunny welcome. So Dollar Tree is doing the most. This is stuff you'd find at Hobby Lobby. It's just so beautiful. No glitter, like everyone always says. You got the distressed wood, like the distressed fencing behind here with the black, with the real light baby pink uh, checks. This is totally, both of them, even the black and white one I showed you, they're totally like Hobby Lobby material. So I picked up four of those. Yeah, I was, I was thinking on those, I picked up too much, but I didn't because I am decorating my house, my bathroom, and then my craft room. So I'm good. 
But I do, I do do that though. I will buy stuff and forget I bought it and buy it again. Yeah, I do do that though, all the time. This is so cute. I've already bought two of them. I bought one more. Um, I needed one more. So, no, I bought one and now I bought this other one. Isn't it so cute, you guys? I bought this on my last bid. I, I bought one. See, look, I can't remember how much I bought, how many I bought. I did buy two the first time. This is the third one. Okay, I know what happened. This is why I bought the third one. Because it was the only one left there and I couldn't leave it. Isn't it so cute? Look how cute it is. This is why I couldn't leave it. Look how adorable it is. And you guys, this is how I look at it. My craft room is shabby chic, and basically my bathroom is shabby chic too. And how I look at it is, is bunnies can be all year round. Just like hearts, like Valentine's Day stuff. So a lot of my stuff, I'll just leave it up. It's so darn cute. I'll just leave it up. You can have bunnies in it all year round. Doesn't matter. In my opinion. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. I meant to get my water before I came on here and I didn't get it. Do I need more water? I do need my water. You guys, just a second. Let me pause you guys. Let me get my water and I'll be right back. Hopefully I don't make it go off. All right, you guys. Sorry about that. <coughs> my throat got dry. I was like, I need water. Oh my gosh. Okay, continuing on now. Oh, all right. Oh, and I got a lot of Easter stuff. But, okay, I just got a lot of girly Easter stuff. And some stuff, I'm just like I said, I like to just leave up in my craft room all year round because it's so girly. So you can see a lot of girly stuff that you can just, in my opinion, leave up all year round. Even these eggs I'm about to show you. I'll just show you these two. Look how beautiful these are. I don't know if I've seen anybody else haul these. At least I haven't. But I got two of them. Aren't they gorgeous? Look how pretty these are. I have a ledge in my craft room. It's three ledges like this. And I call it a tea wall. So I put my teapot and teacup collection on there. Well, on the edge of the ledge, I put a bunch of little, um, small little nails. So I can hang things from it. So these will hang from it. That could be so pretty. These are gorgeous. And so then I got those pink ones. And then I got, to me, this is like a robin's egg blue or like a Tiffany blue. Look how pretty. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh yeah, that'll be a cute thumbnail. So, I mean, look how pretty those are going to be together. I'm gonna leave these out. This will be a really, really pretty, a real pretty thumbnail to put those eggs. And look how big they are. They're huge. Those sold quickly too. Um, Cause when I went back to get something else, I was looking for more though. I thought maybe I should grab a couple more of those eggs. Those eggs were gone. Hey honey, I'm making a video. Okay, so, the so don't cuss. I'll be playing if you're on the World Wide Web. <laughs> Okay, I bought some really cute girly bunny ears. I think I bought these before, like last year, but I couldn't find where the heck I put them at, and I love these in my craft room. I like these in my craft room all year round, because I just they're so pretty. I mean, look at them. These are gorgeous. Let me just take the thing off. Look how pretty they are. I love all of the, look at that, and the Roy Borealis looking. Even though they're purple and blue, there's still a lot of colors in it, and then the pink ones. All kinds of pretty colors in that. So they're just so pretty. These are cute just to decorate your craft room all year round, in my opinion. I had like, at one point, I had like a bowl full of these different type of really cool um, blingy type of um, headbands and, from different things that are pink, and I don't know what I did with them, so... I'll probably eventually find them. Um, this is a repurchase. I felt like I needed to buy one, one more. I <laughs> already had bought this one, and I bought the other one, too. There's this one and, a, and another one. But these are really cool. These look so Hobby Lobby. What do they say? Happy Easter Cottontail Farms Fresh Eggs. 
and Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. You guys go visit Bonnie's channel. Um, I'll try to make sure I put a link below. Um, she, um, what she said was really genius. She just takes a little bit of like the Tim Holtz Distress inks and distresses around the edges. It just adds a little something to them. So I'm going to do that. Bonnie Overman. I was trying to think of Bonnie's last name. You guys go check out Bonnie Overman, her channel. Her channel is fabulous. She does a lot of um, DIYs for every season, just all year round. She's always doing DIYs for the house and just for, for crafting too and for gifts. I mean, she does it for everything. And she also does um, haul videos too, Dollar Tree videos. And also, I guess Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, whatever, like all of us. So check her out. And her stuff is gorgeous. She just did a fairy, like a little um, a fairy tear tray. I'm so copying her. It is so flipping cute. I'm totally doing one like that. I mean, not exactly the same, but I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to use her idea. It's so cute. I told her, I said, you inspired me to do a little fairy, like a little fairy uh, tear tray. Okay. You guys, do you guys like my bows? I love it. So I told you this lady I've been watching. She's like in her seventies, I think. And she wears bows. She wears these um, scarves in her head. She doesn't always wear bows. She kind of wears knots a lot on the top, but she wears them. So she's got me into this whole boat, this whole thing. And then I started thinking, how cute would be to tie bows? So um, I bought, I think I bought three of these scarves, black and white polka dot. Isn't this cute? Now some of them are eternity scarves. So if they're eternity scarves, um, I, I just cut them right at the seam. I cut them because like, I think this was this one an attorney. I can't remember if it's an attorney scarf. I think this one was an attorney scarf. And so I just have to cut it because, um, I need to be able to tie the bow on top of my head. So this is just taking it up, putting it up and then tying a bow. That's it. And then this one, animal print one. How cute. I think this is an attorney scarf too that I'll have to cut. Isn't it cute? And I think I've bought in like three and three of each of these. So, and the reason I'm buying three of each is I'm wearing them all the time. I might have one in the wash. I may be wanting, wanting to wear one. And if they wear out, I have extra. I have backups. Because you know they're not going to keep carrying all the same scarves. Like they get the scarves in, they sell them out, then they have new scarves. So, and I know I love the polka. It reminds me of like Minnie Mouse. I love the black and white polka dots. Or the white polka dots in the black scarf. Okay. I picked up three of these. I do not like the yellow bow that's in, the yellow ribbon that's in it, so they'll be taken out. But this year, the pink is so pretty, much prettier. Last year, the, I didn't like the pink. I think it was different. Anyway, I picked up three of these because I want them for storage in my uh, craft room. Like I said, my craft room is all like pinks, uh, robin's egg blue, creams, lavenders, all the shabby chic colors. And look how cute that would be as for a... Um, just for storage. Like right now, I think I have some stickers. My stickers are being stored in it, which I love because then I can just, it can, I can flip through my stickers like this. So, and it sits on the shelf. Two of them sit on the shelf and they're really cute. So I picked up three of those. I might have three. And the other one I picked up is a baby blue. But I, I think that those are already in my craft room being used. I think. I don't know. Okay. Let me put all this stuff in here. You know what? Let's not put the eggs. The eggs are definitely going to be, I'm going to do, we'll do one pink, one blue. Okay. Next. Oh, let me show you these. So exciting. My store finally got some more in because I missed out on the first ones because I was going to like not really participate in this whole Easter thing too much. So I wasn't going to get these. Because I know how to make my own gnomes. I make my own gnomes. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to waste my money. I'm buying gnomes when I make gnomes. And I, I've made so many gnomes in the past. So my store had one gnome. It was so beat up. I was like, never mind. I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not going to get in on this whole Easter thing. Look what happened to me. Look how much stuff I bought. It's ridiculous. Um, and the gnomes, I thought, oh, they're kind of done cheaply. It was because the, it had been abused, okay, at Dollar Tree. Well, my, one of my Dollar Trees just got everything in again and just really stocked up more than my, one of the other ones that I go to. So um, I was able to find these, the gnomes. How cute. They're already out though. I went back a couple days later, gone. These things go quick. So if you see them in your stores, get them. 
Look how cute. I know you guys have seen them already, but they're so damn cute and they're so well made. I was jaded by the, when I was late to the, to the, I was late to the party. Yeah. And I missed out on the gnomes. I only seen one on the shelf and it looked so horrible. I thought, oh, they didn't make these good. No, it was just that it was, had been abused. It was an abused gnome. And look how big they are, you guys. They're not playing with how big they are. Look at the little pink feet. This is my favorite. It's the pink. So I got two of each. And this, of course, is my favorite, the pink ones. So I got two purple, two pinks. They're in another bag. I'm not going to show you all of them. And then the robin. And this is what I consider like a robin's egg blue. How cute. So these are all the colors in my craft room. So adorable. They did a good job on these. And they're so, like, you could, and this is a nice size. These are nice size gnomes. Okay, so those have to go in my thumbnail. Let's put those right here so those can go in my thumbnail. Those are so cute. I love them. Okay. Next. Now, I ended up getting two sets of these, but there's, it's another set in another in another haul. So I'll show you these again in another haul. They're in another bag somewhere else. So I have like trying to look for all of them. So I'll haul them again the next time I might do my next haul. Because I bought one set and then I was like, oh, I think I need two sets. So, and I didn't buy everything in this, but I bought what I wanted. Okay, it's this stuff. Look how cute. You guys, I buy these. This is my third year buying these. I always buy the, um, the sweets, the sweets village. Isn't it so adorable? Look at that. If you were to buy these at Hobby Lobby, these would cost you $5 a piece. They wouldn't be $1.25, but I bought these every year. I remember three years ago when they started coming out with these. I have so many that I make the cutest shabby chic candy Christmas village. It's all pink. And it's when I get these in January, in, uh, what is this now? March? These, they usually come out in January or February, so they came out kind of late, but. You know they're on that boat. Look how cute. So I do a pink shabby chic Christmas. So, um, and I do a real sweets village. So all these that I've been collecting for the last three years are in that sweets village. And I'm getting away with murder because at Hobby Lobby, like I said, these will cost you like four or $5 a piece. It'd be so, it'd be so expensive, so impossible to build yourself a really nice little pink shabby chic Christmas village, you know, with all the sweets. Um, but this is going to go in my craft room. I bought two sets. Like I said, the other one's in another bag somewhere. But this little uh, set's going to stay up all year round in my craft room. So I have like a little sweets village in my craft room. Wouldn't that be cute? This is so cute. The castle with the cupcakes. So adorable. Absolutely love it. And then this little ice cream truck. Um, I wonder if this is, no, I think this is different from last year. Last year they had an ice cream truck too, but I think it was different. I think the truck looked like an ice cream cone. I can't remember. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm still getting it. Look how adorable it is. Look at that. They put two little ice creams on the little ledge. And I love the little pink little, um, you know, overhang. So cute. And then I almost didn't buy these because, okay, look it. You're buying these for $1.25. That's a good deal. These are not worth $1.25. They should have done something about this. Um, let, me, let me do it so I can show you. But they're so damn cute. I, I bought two of them. These. Aren't they so cute? They're so cute. I, I just like, okay, buy two of them. Even at $1.25. I mean, look, that's not worth $1.25. That's ridiculous. They should have done two. At least you got two or three. You should get three for $1.25. Honestly, these should have been a pack of three. Anyway, oh, these are so cute. I love the ice cream cones. So cute. Or the ice cream popsicles. And then these are so cute. Again, I don't think they're worth $1.25, but we have no choice. That's what the price is. So they were, I remember I didn't want to pay a dollar for them when they were a dollar. 
but I would buy them the ones I really liked. Look how cute. Aren't these adorable? So like the table has a cake on it that has a slice out of it. And then there's little teacups on the uh, chairs. I just love them. So I had to get these even though I think they're way overpriced, but it's the way it is. What is an overpriced? Look at the gas. Here, the gas is five fifty. Yeah, five fifty. I mean, is it gonna go to six dollars? I mean, what the hell? Six dollars? Five fifty? I don't know what the hell they're thinking that we can keep handling these high gas prices. Cause um, I don't know, guys. Something bad might be about to happen with our country because we can't be handling these gas prices. Six dollars? It might be too. It's already five fifty. Five fifty is too much. So I hope we're gonna be fine. These gas prices, it's a little much. Okay. Let me stop complaining about the gas. Okay. I bought two of two or three of these. I think I bought three. Yeah, I bought three of these. I already have I already have one up in my um, bedroom. I'm also decorating my bedroom just a little bit. Not as much as the rest of the house, just a little bit. But look how cute this is. You guys these are fabulous they're so wide they take up a lot of space and they look really um substantial on the wall i love them um easter blessings it says so cute so like i said oh like i said i bought three but one's hanging up in my bedroom already and then i bought two of these and one's in my bedroom also Aren't they so cute? These are what I wish I would have bought more of because I ended up putting them in my, I wasn't going to put them in my bedroom, but where I put them at, they just fit in so cute. It doesn't even look like how, um, I, these type of signs are great for tuckers. Like you have a bunch of stuff on the wall and you tuck them in. Um, so, um, unless this is another craft I've done. I'll just share it really quickly. If you want to make things more substantial with the signs, like you want a nice size wall piece, I'll have, and I'll be pulling some of the stuff out that I've already done for Easter and other holidays. You take two of these and you put them together like this, okay? So now look how big they are. And then you uh, take popsicle sticks and use E6000 and just go across, go down the center with them or you can go across and now that glues these two together so let's say and then you turn them over and now you have the backs like this dry brush some white paint on them so it looks like a fence and then uh, dry brush the white then dry brush vertically and then dry brush a little bit of black and it makes it look a white picket fence and then you can take this as your base see how big it is and you can do anything you can put this on on there and then you can put another sign below it or put two signs like this. And sometimes I've taken uh, three of these and put three of them together. So anyway, just a little idea if you need something more substantial, you know, in that space. Okay. I picked up two or three of these. I believe three all together. Look how beautiful. I think this is one of the most beautiful signs Dollar Tree did this year. Isn't that, that is so Hobby Lobby. All this looks Hobby Lobby to me. Those eggs look Hobby Lobby. Look how beautiful. They turned it this way because the ring light's really blinging the, it out down here. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the flowers and the little bunny. This is so well done. And it just says love. It has a few eggs at the top, but they're so pastel. See, what am I doing? Look at the eggs. They're so pastel. You can really tell the eggs there. So if you have like a shabby chic room, you can leave this up all year round. Can you guys believe how many signs I have? I need to buy no more signs. Like, and you think I haven't bought signs in the past years? Yeah, I haven't even gone through the signs I bought in the years past. I haven't opened up the bucket yet. Okay. I have a craft this week that I'm going to do with these peeps. So that's why I bought 
six peeps. Six sets of peeps. Can I buy the lavender ones? Yeah, I won't show you all of them. But I bought three of the of the blue, of the light blue, and three of the pink. Or yeah, so six all together. And I, I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn these into something. They're still going to be peeps. To me, they're peeps. I don't know if they're, I think they're just calling them bunnies. But those bunnies look like peeps. I'm calling them peeps. Even though they're not the brand peeps. Um, these will look so classy when I'm done. And it's really super simple. So it'll be a video this week. Hopefully I can shoot it tomorrow. Because it's, real, it's really quick and easy, but so effective. So... I bought six of them. And if you want those, I buy as many as you're going to need or want because those are going quick. Everything's going quick. And this is what's kind of cool about these. I love these. Look how beautiful. At my $1 tree, I don't know what is deal is, but they're not getting the stuff in at this $1 tree. So I went to the other one close to my house. They have everything. Everything I was looking for. I was like, oh, I spent so much there because... You ever walk in and it's just your day at Dollar Tree and you're like, it's going to be an expensive one because everything you've been looking for, you found all in one day. So these are so beautiful. Look how pretty these are. Um, I love this Robin's Egg Blue in the background. Cottontails, Candy Cafe, and Jelly Beans. Again, these are things that are so cute that you can just leave all year round. Look how cute that is. Especially in my craft room. So I got two of those. These are going to go in my craft room somewhere. And then these two look very farmhouse. So they're going to go in right here in this area in my family room. Look how cute these are. Now I've gotten these every, for every season they make these with the um, mason jar. And they have, you know, whatever holiday it is. But these are so cute for um, Easter. I feel like I should have got more. Like I should have got four of them. But anyway. The reason I didn't is because I have a I buy these every season, like Christmas ones, whatever the season is, the fall ones. So I and then I'm sure I bought Easter ones like this last year. So I thought, you know, Angela, just see what you have from last year, okay? Calm yourself. Okay. I wonder if oh I'll do the peeps. I'm just thinking about my thumbnails. I try to, I'm trying to keep things out for my thumbnails. Yeah, this the, the peeps will be in my thumbnail. Stay there. Okay. Um, I got these bunny butt um ice tray holders. These are so cute. I've never seen them. I've always wanted them. And they had them last year, and none of my stores ever got them. They're so cute. Well, what I do with these is I make my own facial mask. You guys want to buy a, a beautiful facial mask cheaper than Dollar Tree and actually better, all natural. I take um, yeah, I take sweet potatoes. You, you, if you want, I eat sweet potatoes all the time too. You put them in the oven, take it, get a sweet potato, uh, scrub it down. I spray it with some uh, vinegar wash, half vinegar, half water. I keep that always to wash everything. Wash it. Scrub your, your scrub your uh, your your uh, sweet potato. Three holes in the top, three holes in the bottom. Four hundred degrees for an hour, and you get the best sweet potato. But also, you can scoop a little bit of it out, mash it a little bit, which mashes really easily after that. Throw some honey in there, and then you put that mixture in these, and you put them in the freezer. And that way, you have a mask. You're you don't, you're not going to use them all at one time, right? So every time you're going to use a mask, you just pop it out. Put on your counter within 20 minutes it's defrosted and you can do yourself a mask it's the best moisturizing mask i've ever used it's very moisturizing it brightens the skin um it does a nice cleansing my skin just looks so good my makeup goes on so good after i do that so anyway just to show you guys what i'm doing with this and then i picked up two and two of these um i don't know if they're in this the other ones are in this hall or in the other hall but I picked up two of these. This is the, um, these are the, um, unicorn eggs, but I'm not going to use them as eggs, of course. These are so cute. I don't really like the yellow one, but I, maybe I'll be able to chalk paint it. I'll probably chalk paint it. Um, look how cute these are. 
And this girl, she likes to do like really girly hauls, and she bought this. And she put all kinds of stuff. She put her eyelashes in them. Um, for traveling, she puts her earrings or her rings in them. I thought, oh, how cute. And you can just throw a bunch of these in a bowl and just have them in your craft room or at your beauty table and be able to put stuff in them. Oh, yeah, that's going to be cute. Look at that. So I picked up two sets of these. I didn't know if I needed two sets. Oh, they close nicely, too. Of course, I probably didn't need two sets, but, you know, this is only for a short period of time for Easter. So if I decide I want it more, um, I couldn't just go get them. So I got two sets. Then I got two sets of these. These are so cute. I saw these last year, and I didn't pick them up. And then when I wanted them, they were sold out. These are cute. Again, the same girl who does, like, a really cute girly hauls. Everything she gets is pink, and it's just always really girly. Um, I'll just show you with this one, with the purple, with the lavender ones. Again, she does stuff like puts her eyelashes in them, like rings if she's traveling, or she puts them in her purse and they have some rings in them, or just have one in your, just have two of these in your little um, cosmetic bag just to look cute. I call them little bags full of happiness. You know, maybe my lip gloss is in there and a few other things, but then I'll throw cute stuff like this in there, just little bags of happiness. That's what I call them. Isn't that cute? And this is what it looks like open. I love it. You can even like take if you need it, like you have some aspirin or any of your medications or something, you could put them in these. How cute, huh? Okay. Your vitamins, whatever. Those are adorable. Glad about those. And again, I love the, the lavender, I love the turquoise one, and then the pink, but I don't know about that yellow. But like I said, when I see stuff like this, you can always um, chalk paint it and make it look really cute. I could do a really pretty light pink chalk painting, the yellow one. Oh, that would be cute. Okay, I picked up two of each of these. Oh, that would be a good uh, thumbnail. Okay, this is these are so beautiful. I absolutely love these. Uh, shake your cotton tail. Is it Sam the other one too? Shake your cotton tail. And this one says bunny trail. But I love the pink on here. The pink is just perfect. So I'll in my craft room, I'll have it faced around this way. And then once it's not uh, Easter anymore, I'll turn it around this way. But I just this is again for storage for my craft room. How cute are these for just storage in your craft room? I can't believe more people haven't thought about that. They're always think I guess they're just thinking Easter baskets. But uh, bunny trail. And this is that beautiful robin's egg blue. And then look at the shape on them, you guys. They didn't have these at my first Dollar Tree I went to. The second one, the one that had everything, they had them. I was like, oh. I almost bought three of each, but I'm like, okay, calm down. I have so many containers. Like, I need to calm down with containers. Like, I got a lot. So that in the kitchen. Okay, um... This is like the never-ending haul. Okay, this is more of the peeps. Remember I told you I bought a bunch of the peeps. Oh my gosh, you guys. I had to have this. This was on the way out. I love like cotton candy looking um, stuffed animals. And this little stuffed animal, it's a fuzzy friend, is so soft. I, 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 want, I don't want to get makeup on it. But look how pretty it is. Is that... Is that just the cutest cotton candy little um, stuffed animal, little rabbit? Look how it sits. Here's the face. Oh my goodness. So cute. And they only had one. If they would have had more, I would have bought a couple of them. And then look at this one. And they only had one of this one too. They must have went quick, the cotton candy ones. And then look at this one, purple and blue. And look at the little feet. I couldn't believe it. it was on the way out just sitting there and I seen both of them I'm like so I was looking through to see any more I didn't have any more and I haven't seen any of my other Dollar Trees either see that would be a cute thumbnail I got so many thumbnail pictures it's ridiculous okay how much time how long we've been going three four minutes okay here's some more of those peeps like I was telling you how many did I get one 
two, three, four, five, six. Like I said, three in each color. Um, I got these. I never, I've seen these in people's hauls the last couple of years. I was never able to find them. I was so excited. Again, it's kind of, it's those eggs. And they're the shells and they're Aurora Borealis. It's the same thing as the other ones. I saw the same girl. She got these two. And again, my little bag's full of happiness. Maybe I'll, sh I'll show it to you at the end of the video so you can see what I'm talking about. I've shown them before. It's like a clear makeup bag and it has my makeup in it, but then it has all these like things like this, like, like I'm a 10 year old. But anyway, look how beautiful they are. These would be beautiful just to put in your craft room or your beauty table in a bowl because they're so pretty. And I would have got, I didn't, they did not have these at my first Dollar Tree at the second one I went, the one that had everything, they had them. And I would have picked up two packs, they only had one. So certain things go quick, you guys. So if it's super cute and unusual, pick a couple up because you're not gonna go. Now I'm trying to get this open. How hard is it to open it? Oh my, oh my gosh, do they open? Oh yeah, they open. You have to kind of squeeze it where the crease is at. So they come completely apart like this. So these are just cute. These are cute that you could just put them in a bowl, like a little clear glass bowl and put them in your, um, wherever, in, anywhere in your house. But these are just gonna be so perfect for my, for my uh, craft room or my beauty table. Love. I hope I find another pack of these. Like I said, I only saw one of my Dollar Trees. The third Dollar Tree I go to, they were just putting their stuff out, so. But I really need to stop going to Dollar Tree. You guys, I still have a whole other haul to do after this one, so I really need to calm down. I've spent, I don't want to say what I spent at Dollar Tree in the last. This is the time that I love. Like, I, I skipped the whole Valentine's thing, and thank God I did. I don't decorate for Valentine's, but I just like all the girly stuff. I was buying Hobby Lobby stuff because Hobby Lobby had their 75% off, and they still kind of do. But I was in the midst of that. So I, that's why I usually just skip the Valentine's at Dollar Tree and just spend my money at Hobby Lobby because you're getting stuff at 75% off in the craft area and the fine arts. So, But Easter also, just like Valentine's, everything's so pink and girly. I go nuts. I can't help it. Okay. I wanted this right here to be in pink. But they didn't have a pink one. Hopefully I find a pink one, but for now this will do. I want to take this because I'm redoing my craft room table and I'm setting it up to do my stuff for my planner. So I want to fill this up with, even though I store my washi in a whole nother way, just like the ones I use all the time, I want to store my washi in it. Wouldn't that look cute with my washi tapes in it? It's so pretty. That's why I want this. I want the pink one looks like this. But then I thought this would be cute just to put this in there where my washies are in there. Like you scoop out the washies. And then I have another one I could stick in something else. Like a thing of like, you know, I have, I have bowls of beads and stuff like that. I can stick it in there like you take out the beads. So, I thought that was cute. So I got that. I got sprayers because you always need these. I make my own sanitizer with 70% alcohol and essential oils. And also I make my own perfume. I make my own perfume with, um, I love lavender essential oil and orange essential oil that I get at my herbs place. And you fill it up with, um, to make perfume, you fill it up about that much alcohol, about that much alcohol, three quarters of alcohol, the rest with a little bit of water. And then you throw in like 10 drops of essential oils. Like I said, I like to wear orange and, um, and you smell like an orange, it's real fresh. And I like to use lavender. So I make one orange and one lavender and that's what I smell like. So a lot of perfumes give me a headache because Unless they're essential oils, a lot of times they give me headaches. That's why I like to make my own perfume. Plus, then you get the herbal benefits from essential oils, so it's nice. Okay, I love these, and I don't know if I bought these before or not. She is fierce. Look at this. It's pink, and then there's a pink cheetah. Oh, my God. I was like, I have to have it. And I love the gold where it says fierce. She is fierce. Look how pretty it is. And I think the pages, are the pages pink or anything? No, the, pa the pages are just blank inside. And is this by, I'm just curious, do I have my glasses here? I sure don't. The reason, I don't care if it's by Jot or not, but um, there's this one brand that always makes the cutest stuff, and I usually like theirs, and it's not Jot, it's the other brand there. 
No, this is Jot. Anyway, and she says, stay wild. And I wanted to buy like nine of these. And let me tell you why. There's this thing called Go Wild. It's a planner's convention. And you guys, it looks like so much fun. They just got back from California with the planner's conventions for like three days. So people who like to do planning and everyone, you know, so they, what they do is they have a table. There's like, I don't know, a I can't even know. 30, 40 tables, may, probably more. And um, if they're represented by different companies, like say it's Happy Planner. And then um, you have 10 people at the table. And Happy Planner gives you like actual Happy Planners and a whole bunch of stuff. And they set the table up beautifully. Well, they have table gifts. So you buy stuff for the people at your table and you guys exchange also. They do all kinds of cool stuff. So I have to buy nine of these. But I'm not for sure I'm going but their whole thing is go wild. So how cute would it be to say stay wild? So I almost wanted to buy nine of these. I'm still thinking about it, but I don't know if I'm going for sure or not. And so I don't want to spend all this money on table gifts and I'm not even going. I think I'm going. I want to go. You guys, it's expensive. It's like, okay, listen, it's $500. Plus hotel, plus food for three days. Like... It was here in Las Vegas like two years ago, the year right before coronavirus. I hope to get, they haven't announced it, I hope it's here. If it's here, I'm going for sure. Because I don't have to do hotel and food and all that. I just have to pay the 500, which is still a lot. Okay, let me continue on with my haul. Um, you guys look at this. Another one to, to do my scarf head bows. Look at this pretty pink one. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a little, it's two inches shorter, but not too much, not too much shorter. And it has little hearts on it. It's left from Valentine's Day. I should have asked for a discount, but I didn't. They just keep selling. Like, they don't even, like, discount the stuff. They just keep selling it at the regular price. I'm like, don't you guys discount? That was on some other stuff. They go, no. I'm like, you, can, you guys know we'll just still buy it, huh? You know, it has the Valentine's thing, and Valentine's has been over. But anyway, look how pretty this one is. Oh, I love it. Like a magenta pink. So pretty. So this is going to look, look how pretty this is going to look on my, my skin tone. I like that. Okay, I saw, I think Pamela. Hey, Pamela from Pamela's World. You guys go see Pamela. If you don't know who Pamela's World is, type it in. Go see her channel. She does fabulous Dollar Tree hauls. She's one of the Dollar Tree queens on YouTube. And I think I saw her with these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I think. Okay, so these are big wall decals. Look how gorgeous, people are putting these on their walls, but look how beautiful this is. And then on the other side, these are gorgeous. I want. I just saw someone, I just saw Pamela hauling these and um, I was like, oh, I hope I find those. I went the next day to Dollar Tree and found them. These would be gorgeous if you could buy a few of them. I wouldn't just put one set on a wall. You'd need like four sets so you can kind of arrange it in a little collage, you know? But I want to use mine to do uh, mixed media, to do like a really pretty background and then put these on there as the focal points, either in my art journal or even on canvases. That'd be gorgeous. I wanted to get two of each, and I almost bought two or three of each, but you know what I'm going to do? Um, these will fit under my printer, so I'm going to print them out. So I have, like, master, I call them master boards, so I have master copies. So I always have them, so I didn't have to. Those are so gorgeous, so that I don't have to buy so many of each one. So, oh, they open up, so I can just go like this. Okay, see? They open up. So there's that side. You guys can also put these on your notebooks. How gorgeous would that look? Beautiful. Okay, so I got, I think there's four of them. Yeah, and there's four of them, and I picked up all four. So like I said, if you like these and you know you're going to want more than this, um, like you're going to do like collages or pr different projects or you want to put them on notebooks, um, even on your wall, I mean, you might be able to cut them out too. I would kind of want the way this feels, so I'm going to put them on the wall, I would think. But I don't know. At any rate, make copies of them before you use them. Okay. I think it's finally my last bag. Let me see. 
what's in here? No, I have another bag after this. Okay. Okay. Oh, I lied. I bought more of those peeps. So I bought more than six sets. All right. See, I did that to those. I didn't realize how many I bought, and I overbought those. So those, some of those may be going back. Okay. Okay, here's the, um, remember I told you I bought two sets of the, um, of each of these? I did. So there's the two sets of those um i picked this up the last time but i picked up three more or four more because um when i show you my purse i like to, i i make these purses from totes and i put my own fabrics on them well i like to cover up the handles so the handles match the fabric and um to buy lace and all that for it it's so expensive and it doesn't wear really well well, that's why I got these scarves, because I do a lot of them in pink, so these scarves are gorgeous. They'll match, they're all pinky, so they'll match my bags. Also, I wanted a couple for my hair, so I picked up, aren't these gorgeous? Look how pretty. So one, two, three, four, and I already have two on my bag, so I probably picked up six of these all together, because I got a lot of purses that I'm going to be making, and I want to tie these around the handles, so and have two for myself for my hair. And then remember I told you I stocked up on the polka dotted ones. So here's two more and two more of the animal prints of the scarves. I was so excited that I found these. Um, I think I picked up three all together. Look how beautiful these are. What they are is these are uh, beauty stones. Um, they're, well, they call them facial massage stones, but they're also beauty stones. When you rub rose quartz on your face, it brings blood to your face. So it just, it makes you prettier when you bring blood to your face. And also it's a massager. So it massages. And when you massage your skin, you bring a lot of collagen up. So it helps with wrinkles and keeping your skin moist. So you guys look how beautiful it is. This is gorgeous rose quartz so beautiful I love it <clears throat> so um, I picked up three because um, first I only picked up one but then I picked up two more because um, I want to put one in my little um, bag of happiness that goes in my purse which I'm going to show you guys and I'll put it in there um, then I wanted one for um, to do my facial massages with and then I wanted to put one um, I have a little table with stones and candles and all this kind of stuff and incense and I want to put that there So that's why I bought so many of those. I finally bought these these right here these LED roses So they light up and I picked up pink ones, too, but I don't know where the pink ones are right now. I Thought these would be really good at my beauty table And my beauty table is in my craft room so um or if I want to put this at my craft table or somewhere in my beauty room. I'm not really sure. Either my, be my beauty room slash craft room. We'll see. It's really my craft room and my beauty table's in the craft room. So I didn't have enough room in my bedroom to, for my, my beauty table. So I put it in my craft room. That's where I do my makeup. If you don't have a beauty table and you like doing makeup, you guys, somehow get yourself a beauty table. You will love it. Set it up all pretty and girly, and you'll love it. Oh my gosh. Do I have enough scarves? I don't think so. Okay, just a second, you guys. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Let's stop. Okay. You guys see what I'm talking about? Dollar Tree is doing the most right now. They have so much cute, girly stuff at, in, the, in the spring and Easter. And then I bought a bunch of, I it's not in this haul, I bought a bunch of spring stuff for the spring collection. Okay. What time are we at? Okay. 
I did buy one more of these. Remember I said, I didn't know if I bought another one. I did. So I got that extra one that I did want. I thought this was so cute. You guys, I picked up two of these because I want to do one. I, I think one's already in my giveaway. Yeah. I already have one in a giveaway. It's the Peter uh, Rabbit coloring book. You guys, it's so well done. Look how pretty it is. Beatrix Potter. I learned about Beatrix Potter. I guess I've always known. I just didn't know. I just didn't know her name, but I've always seen, you know, Peter the Rabbit. And I didn't know who Beatrix Potter was. Well, she was the one who wrote the books and who um, wrote the books and did the illustrations. And um, there's a lady named Hopalong Hollow, and she loves Beatrix Potter. And so I learned about Beatrix Potter from her. And then they have the movie about Beatrix Potter on Netflix or Hulu. So good, you guys. She was like such a rebel um, for the time. And she became a zillionaire from all of her books and um, bought her own house, which women never bought their own houses. Women weren't rich. She did all that. It was really cool, you guys. Anyway, her story's really cool. So look it up on Hulu if you have it or Netflix. And it's just called Beatrix Potter. But this coloring book, it's made with the coloring book kids pages. But look how well done it is. This would be so fun to color. It looks like almost adult coloring books. The only difference is it's not that good, good paper. It's more like the coloring book paper, but look at the pictures. Oh, I would so like to color this. And do the really pretty pastel -y color. She used water, and the thing she painted with, she always uh, painted all of her characters with her, her rabbits and any of her characters with watercolors. So everything is very pastel -y, very light. This is really super cute. So this one's mine. I have I bought an extra one for a giveaway. I went about more for giveaways, but I don't know if everyone likes Beatrix Potter or even knows who she is or if they want to color Peter the Rabbit. So, yeah. Okay, I do have one more thing to show you. It's not one more thing. It's like a few things, but they're all the same thing. I'll show you. How much time we've we been on? Oh, you guys know I am long-winded. I like to say I'm a long-winded hoe. Okay, you guys, I have gone nuts with nail polish. If you haven't seen my Daiso haul, look at it. Las Vegas now has a Daiso. Oh, and let me see something. Oh, thank God. Um, You guys see my last video? I had a damn chili pepper on my tooth here, and then I had no one here. I said in my title, um whatever my title was, and then it said, excuse the chili hot peppers in my teeth. It was horrible. So, so sorry about that last week. I will always look and see. I looked before to see if I have anything in my damn teeth. Anyway, um, one of my last Daiso hauls, I went nuts on nail polish. I, it's LA Gears, LA Colors, LA Colors nail polish. I've never seen a store carry so many beautiful nail polishes in my life. I even know there was that many available. I bought them all. All the ones I like, but before that, last week Dollar Tree had a um an end cap, which they even set it up on an end cap. You guys look at the end caps, and then look at the sides of the end caps because on the sides they'll put a whole um you know the whole arrangement of whatever the cardboard and everything that they put. Every, it was like that. It was on the corner. It was a stand up floor operation type of thing, and they had all the polishes there. So you barely, you could go right past that and not even know it's there. So you guys really look at the end caps, look at the strips that are on the end caps, and then look for the floor, like the floor models on the end caps on the corner where they don't even, where it doesn't even belong. A bunch of stuff, you guys, is on the end caps or the strips. It's amazing. Okay, a lot of the good stuff is like that. Okay, um... So, this is all I believe. I Guys, I've been buying a lot of polish, so I can't... I'm trying to sift out what I just recently bought and what I had before. But this is what I think I just bought. Okay, so this pretty, like, bubblegum pink. And these are all LA colors, right? And these are all in that, um, that big cardboard box thing. On the end cap, but cornerized floor up so that maybe how yours is doing it too and then I bought two of these because I just love this color this pink look how pretty this pink is 
I've never bought so much nail polish in all my life. But they had that, like I said, they had that end cap. And it was so, the polishes were so gorgeous. I, I stocked up last week. And plus I wanted to be able to do this. I want to be able to take spring colors and just... So that's why I bought five new bottles of nail polish last week. And then at the end of the week, I ended up going to Daiso because I found out Las Vegas has a Daiso. So it just, it's been here since December. And I just found out two days ago, Jeannie, Jeannie the Duchess, hey Jeannie, she goes, do you know that you have a Dollar Tree in Vegas? And she thought it was outside of Vegas, but no, it's in Vegas. And then I'm like, no, but I'm going to find out. I found out within 20 minutes I was at Daiso, 20, 25 minutes. Okay, um, I thought this color was really pretty. It's a brown color, especially for fall or even any time. I don't care about colors for seasons. Just, isn't that pretty? It's a real natural, cool, love it, mauve brown color. Um, I like this light baby pink color. That's what I have on my pinky right there. Then um, this lavender. Did I get two of the same lavenders? Is it two of the same? Okay, I'm not really sure why I bought two lavenders of the same polish, but I did. I might have already had it and then I bought it again. Who knows? So pretty. But I wanted all these pretty pastel colors for... Um, for spring and for Easter and to be able to do my nails all different colors. So I love this like Robin's egg blue color. Gorgeous. And then um, these I, I, don't know, I, I think I got these a long time ago at Dollar Tree. But I'll just show you. All these I ended up putting together. Isn't that pretty? This is when they do the gel polish at Dollar Tree. It's like a lavender color. No, lavender blue type of color. This is a real pretty, this is hard to find. It's green, but it's a, like a mart, it's like a um, cotton candy green where it's real light, light, light pastel. Really pretty. And that is sassy and chic. Now these are all LA Color gel polishes. And I'm not sure if I got these at Walmart or if I got these at, at um, Dollar Tree. I can't remember. Because they do carry these um, LA Color gels. And you don't need a light. Somebody was asking me about that. You know what? I think I got these at Walmart. Because this one, I did not ever see at Dollar Tree. I think I got all, I think I got all these at Walmart. And they're two bucks. I love this pink. I, I picked up two of these. Because I love that color pink. And then um, this yellow, this banana yellow. This real pretty banana yellow. I like these because they're like cream colors. They're not bright. They're real nice and pastel. Just like this one's a cream. They're all creams. So anyway, just wanted to show you those those other last three. I think I showed at, I got at Walmart. And I definitely got this at Walmart. This is, they call these Mermaid, Mermaid Magics. Look at the top on it. Isn't that gorgeous? But look at that. This is what I'm wearing on my nails right now for Sparkle. Two coats of sparkle and then a top coat. You gotta do two to three coats and then a top coat if you want to have a nice, pretty sparkle. But look at the colors in that. That's the prettiest sparkly polish I've ever seen, ever. Gorgeous. So, okay, you guys, that is it finally. I think I've done, how long have I been on here? An hour? Oh, an hour and five minutes. It's long haul, but I, it was long because there's so much Easter stuff and I, you know, Easter stuff is time sensitive. So I can't just have that sitting over there on my couch. Like, you know, you need to show the stuff cause it's Easter. So people are buying the Easter stuff right now. So that's why I went ahead and just made it longer and showed you guys all the Easter stuff that I bought and all the Easter stuff I bought that you can also use just all year round. So that's how I look at it. Cute girlies type of stuff. Okay, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook, Instagram. Um, come join us on Sundays for Angie's Art Party. Um, we're, we all just craft and art together. I'm usually doing some type of mixed media. Um, I do giveaways, and everyone just has a party and has fun. Everyone's chit-chatting. It's a lot of fun. So come join us there. Um, and that's it for this one. I'll talk to you guys next video.